That's what the name of that song was. Paradise. <laughs> Don't ask me why or how I wrote a song at that moment of truth entitled Paradise. But Louie and I would call each other and give each other melodies and lyrics like the time you're just about to get married. Remember that? Yes, yes. Do you remember that song? Of course, of course. It was a magical moment. He, my best friend was getting married. He even made me the best man. Because the real best man couldn't make it. <laughs> so I've always been second choice to this gentleman here, as you can see. But having said that, we have a friendship that goes back way than even some marriages, you know? Yeah, longer. Longer than, longer. yes, longer. right? We've been to, with each other. We've not been with each other. We, <clears throat> we've been together. We've been, we've been friends for many, many years. And within our friendship, it just so happens we're happy at the same time and we're sad at the same time. And it was during this song that he was the happiest, Jojo. Can we do a little, just a little sample of the song we wrote for his wedding? And it goes like this. Put it down, oh yeah. Down the aisle, right? I have been searching all my life Hoping someday I would find A love that will last Forever then, there was you who touched my heart. I knew it from the start that we belong together. From now on, it will be me and you. From now. Yours and mine will last till the end of time. Knowing you're with me now. Hold me close, don't ever, never let me go. Be with me now, cause I need you much more than words can say. Bathroom, you good? Nothing. It's real, you know, it's real 45 years in the business, on stage for three hours. So back in the day, he would escape. Now we cannot escape. You are the star of the show tonight, my friend. This is your night, 45 years and counting. Any regrets? No, no regrets. No, no regrets? No regrets. Was there a song that you wrote that you didn't like? Ever? Well, but you are a very talented composer, yes? Just Could you write a song in two seconds? Can you write it in two seconds? If I have. Can you write a song on the spot? Yeah. This is not in the script. Just follow me. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Is there anyone here celebrating anything besides Christy? Anyone? Are you married? You're not married? You're supposed to come tomorrow. <laughs> Didn't you get the memo? <laughs> No, you know, is anyone, are you, husband and, I need a husband and wife, boyfriend and girlfriend, two guys, two girls, I don't care what, are you, are you together? How long have you been married? 25 years, you look like you're 25, what happened? <laughs> Seriously? 25, what's your name? Kito and Kita? Kito and? Sai? What's your name? Oh, that's your name, Sai, okay. Kito and Sai. Married for 25 years. Where did you meet? 
at school. See him? Just making sure. <laughs> Might be someone else. Look at this guy. <laughs> um, 25 years they met in school. Yeah. And in this school, how did you know it was love? I mean, what was that? I, I have to fast forward. It's not my show. Is it Tom? Hi, hey, Tom. Huh? How did you know it was love? It just hit you? I hit you? That's a different sport now. <laughs> I like it! Sai, Sai and Kito met in school, which means they knew nothing about love until they met each other. So every time he'd meet you, he'd say, Sai. <laughs> and Kito would say to Sai, From the moment I met you, on the day we were side by side, you get it? Let me do it again. Side by side. I knew what you do for me. Then Kito, Kito, right, said to Sai, Now my life has new meaning And the story can be told That one day you'd marry me. Then Sai says, There's a time for some laughter Time for some tears, time for forever. Kito, come here. I can see behind your glasses, you're as sweet as molasses. Very good. My hope and my dreams would be for you. And then he said, how can I live? If I'm without you, Sai. Okay, Sai, one. I spend my life dreaming life with only you, Sai. I wanna spend my lifetime, Kito, in love with you, Sai. No other love can make this dream come true. How can I live if Kito, I cannot Kita? I have to Kita, this Kito, I have to Kita. I want to spend my lifetime in love with you, Kito Sai. Sai, it's you, and it's you. Kito and Sai, forevermore. Give me a kiss the Sai. Kiss the Sai. Kiss the Sai. Give them a round of applause. Come on. Now, not every song has a happy ending, right? One day we're on tour, he gets a call. Back then it was over. That was the cell phone before, remember, with the yeah, long yeah, antenna? Radio, yeah, yeah. Radio, radio, VHF, right? VHF, UHF. What is that? VHF and UHF. Are you talking to me in code? Is that uh, yeah. Oh, you mean the radio. The radio, thought, the radio. I thought you are telling me my zipper's down or something. Or, <laughs> you love me. <laughs> you know, VHF, M-O-D, L-O-P, whatever. Uh, it was a VHS, F. VHS is the tape. Tape. Better, children, better max, VHS. VHF. VHF, okay. He got a call. Uh, from the hospital, yeah, I guess, yeah, the hospital. telling him that his wife is about to give premature birth, right? And he had to rush to her only to find out he came a little bit too late. That's the saddest song he's ever written, the saddest song he ever blessed me with. And I think you all know this song. Everyone somehow can relate to this song, especially during the pandemic. So many things happened where we couldn't touch, couldn't have one last hug. Some of us lost people in our lives. And this is the song that they lean toward. The painful song written by Louis Ocampo and his Alan Ike wrote this beautiful song. The original singer, I have to say, is the beautiful voice of Vernie Varga. And for a woman to sing this song is even more painful because they lost something so precious. This is that song that was just the story. Oh, hey. 
Thank you. 